How did Georgie handle the disruption of her evening with her father? Well, I told her that Diane was in the hospital, leaving aside some details, of course, and she agreed that I should be here to support Diane. So we'll reschedule our viewing for another time. Oh, viewing. Well, haven't I told you? I'm mentoring my progeny on a tour of a certain galaxy far, far away. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Right. So rest assured, Georgie will see every original, every sequel, prequel, in between quill in the Star Wars universe. Okay. Who's yeah. your favorite character? Oh, well, uh, Princess Leia Organa, uh, closely followed by Yoda, with a uh, certain fondness for Darth Vader. Wait, does she know? Oh, that he was once Anakin? Yes, of course. <laughs> We're watching the canon in order. It's just, I don't know, she, she's got a tender heart and a hopeful, hopeful spirit. I think she, she insists that Vader can be redeemed. Plus, she likes his helmet. Ah, oh, I bet you she gets that perspective from you. Why well, I, I try not to influence her with my likes or dislikes. You know, the joy is in just watching her experience this storytelling universe that brought me so much joy. You're really good dad, Spinelli. Well, I'm blessed with an amazing daughter. And equally fortunate to have a co-parent like her amazing mother. So. Is Maxie okay waiting alone for news on Diane? She's not alone. Dr. Gatlin Holt is keeping her company. Oh, how is it going between Georgie and Austin? The last Maxie told me that Georgie was having a problem sharing her mom with Austin. Mm. Georgie's still not a fan, despite the efforts of the good doctor. And she's not being influenced by anyone about Austin, is she? I have no need. Georgie's an excellent judge of character. I'm sure she is. It's possible she may have picked up on my own... Jealousy. Observations. 